Okay, today we're going to look at voltmeter challenge circuit testing one. So go ahead and open your voltmeter challenge module, click on circuit testing one. Very important, take time to read the overview uh, parameters, especially the example here at the bottom. Um, give you a quick overview. Uh, essentially, you are working at an electronic manufacturing uh, plant and they have manufactured battery packs, little power supplies, but they failed to stamp uh, the schematic of the wiring on there and so you need to um, determine how the battery pack is wired and you have a, a series of schematics to pick from um, to make the the uh, best choice and uh, so depending on how you set your probes you're going to find an alignment where we have a, a series aiding um, situation uh, or you could have a, a, a series opposing uh, situation where the sources cancel each other out. So you need to pay attention to the schematics. Um, you, through a, a series of clicks and process of elimination, you find the best choice for the schematic uh, that is in front of you. So I'm gonna work through an example for you. So when we uh, click begin here, um, pay attention to the second tab. Always, always open the second tab these are your choices that are out here so these are your schematics of this block up here we know that v1 is 20 volts we know that v2 is 10 volts we don't know how they are arranged or how they are wired in this battery pack these are our options so let's begin by uh, putting our positive probe on one wire and um you could strategically look at these uh, and, and figure out the placement for your negative probe. I'm going to go to the bottom here, and I get a reading of 10 volts. 10 volts is V2. Well, what this says is that between these probes, I should be seeing a, a positive aligned um, uh, V2, or I could see a canceling of uh, 20 minus 10 to also give me 10. So let's see what options we have. Um, I know that it's not going to be choice A. I know it's not going to be choice B. I know it's not going to be choice C. I know it's not going to be choice D. None of those because they don't have any sources uh, between those two wires. I know that uh, choice I is out. I know choice H is out. Um, now, now let's look at what's left over. V2 is 10 volts. So it could be F because I do have my positive probe on this side and that's the negative side of this battery. So F is a possibility and I might want to write that down. It could be G. G is a possibility because it is also oriented in the, the right direction. It could be J. So I'm going to consider that. Now, looking at E, I have V1, which is a positive 20 and V2, which is a positive 10, 20 plus 10 is 30, so E is not an option. I'm left with one of these three down here, but I don't know which one it is without switching my probe. So um, I'm going to uh, choose the best option here. If it was F and I went to this blue wire up here, I would see zero volts. Uh, if it was G and I went to the blue wire, I would also see zero volts. Uh, so maybe uh, maybe moving my black to the blue wire is not the best. Um, if it was J and I moved it up here, I could see 20 volts uh, in that setup. Um, let's go ahead and move our red wire to the purple and, uh, and see what we get. So red wire to the purple... I have a negative 10 value, basically. Um, let's look at what's going on here. Red wire to a positive um, 20 volts and a positive 10. It's not F. That should be 30. Um, red wire to a negative 20 volts. Notice that there is negative side of the, the cell here, positive side here. So this is a minus 10. Read it left to right. I'm sorry, a minus 20, V1 is 20, minus 20 plus 10, minus 20 plus 10 gives me a minus uh, 10 overall. So I'm thinking G is my option. 
And, and let's look at our, our final possibility here. So we'll go V1 here is a positive 20 through a positive 10. So that's 20 plus 10 is 30. So I'm definitely left with uh, G as my, my option. So I click G and um, I go ahead and, and submit that for uh, grading and uh, grade that, that item. And so you see we're, we're good there. Hit continue before you uh, um, move on. Make sure you look at the wiring diagrams. Do the same type of assessment. Here V1 is 8 volts. V2 is 4 volts. Um, really, you can strategically pick uh, the pattern of, of where do you want to begin. Uh, the best way to eliminate or, or narrow this down. Typically, you can narrow it down to uh, three options, and then one more movement of the probe uh, usually will allow you to uh, find the solution. So you do have to think critically, um, be logical, make sure you pay attention to the polarity of our probes. Our red probe is our positive side, and so if the positive uh, portion of uh, the schematic symbol is, is facing that, that's in a positive direction, think left to right in uh, read your schematic symbol that way. Uh, so when something's turned around like V1 here on, on G, um, we are reading this as a negative V1 or a negative eight. And uh, depending how the probe was set, if we came in and went like this, uh, we would see a negative eight plus a positive four, and that would be a net gain of a negative four if that were my setup. So, um, you know, think about what the voltage outcome can be in any of these combinations, and then try to, to narrow it down uh, with the movement of the uh, probes here. And actually, you know, here we, we have a negative uh, eight possibility going on here. So, you know, in this arrangement, um, you can, can look through and see what options um, might exist for you uh, to gain a, a negative eight in that wiring configuration. Um, I'm not going to work this one through. I'll let you think about it. And uh, good luck uh, in your assessment.